Mm. All right, Mr. West, we're ready. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, ready on Is set? makeup done? All right, here you Stand go. Stand by. Rolling in three, two. Hi, welcome to Hits West. Hits West? Is that a grammatical error? I, never mind. Hey Siri, is Hits West cut, a grammatical error? Cut, cut. Sir, what? can you please put your iPhone down? Okay, all right, just say the lines that mm -hmm. we give you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> and action. Hey, Hits your boy West. If you are watching me from an Android phone and not from an iPhone, then <laughs> you're a basic b <laughs> Wait, what? Cut, cut, cut! What'd I do? What? What? Can't what? Hey, it's your boy West, you don't know? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I have bought my first iPhone. Hence that, you know, that little bougie impersonation in the beginning. Android users, let's be honest. For years, you having an Android, you owning an Android phone, you have been getting judged by all your iPhone friends. That's if they at least consider you as a friend. <laughs> because for some reason, I've literally had Android all my life. And all my life, I've been hearing persons talking about how switch the iPhone because it's just better. I don't care if it's a good phone or if it's a bad phone. <laughs> that's none of my business. It's not my business. I'm looking rich. That's the end goal. iPhone users always make it seem as if, oh my God, I am better than you because I have an iPhone. The first thought that came to my mind, <laughs> has the world always been filled with peasants? <laughs> Some persons prefer Androids, some persons prefer iPhones. So in case you didn't see it on my Instagram, I made a skit that actually shows how someone actually acts when they switch from Android to iPhone and the reaction that, you know, we Android users actually feel. Well, technically, I can't say we anymore because <laughs> I switched to iPhone. <laughs> I am better than you. No, no, I'm fighting it. That's not me. I'm not going to switch like that. But let me show you how it actually looks when someone switches from Android to iPhone. Guys, guys, guess what, guess what? Big news, big news. I bought an iPhone. Bro, why would you even do that? Yo, having an iPhone is so restricting. Hey Siri, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> I see you, Mr. One Button Man. <laughs> guys, calm down, okay? I'm just trying something new. It's 2021, guys, come on. All right, setting up iCloud accounts and boom. Guys, is, is this supposed to happen? Is, uh, what's going on right now? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, don't be asking us. You went to buy the iPhone. That's your problem, bro. Why is you good? Are you guys okay? Yeah, we, we, we good. Why? You're, you're using, uh, you're using Androids. Excuse wow. me. Wow. The switch so, up. So, you, you're one of them now. <laughs> okay. You know what? Just for that, I'm not going to send you the pictures I took of you. <laughs> Come now, don't be like that. Just airdrop them to me. All right. Um, Androids don't airdrop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, mm. we can use Google Drive, okay? One of these days, your OS is gonna crash on you because of that. Um, my, my what? Your OS. What do you mean iOS? Right, I mean, you people use OS. We use iOS. And we never crash. Um, we have bugs that fix our bugs. <laughs> hmm. Well, Mr. iPhone guy, say goodbye to downloading music. <gasps> downloading, you say? <laughs> no wonder your little robotic phone is so slow. <laughs> Always getting viruses. <laughs> now you have to pay for music. Ha! How do you feel about that? I don't see any issue paying for my own music. Unless, um... Are you broke? Wait a minute, right, you're still using Androids. <laughs> of course you are. Do you just call us broke? Pull up, you do understand that you don't use a memory card anymore, right? So you're eventually gonna run out of space on your phone. <laughs> I want to see how you fixed that, Mr. iPhone guy. When did you get a glass of wine? Why would I require external memory? <laughs> I have 256 gigabytes, not to mention my iCloud storage. And if I, for some reason <laughs> I need additional storage, I can simply buy <laughs> more. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. You know what? Anyway. Just answer your phone call and go, please. Uh, no, actually, someone's FaceTiming me, but... Right, <laughs> you wouldn't know. Uh, it's two separate applications. They're not the same. <laughs> mm. Friend, let me call you back. I'm actually having a conversation with, um... With, with Android users. Ew, you yeah, might catch like, COVID. I love your camera quality. What are you using? Oh, right, it's just an iPhone. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> mm. Anyways, gentlemen, I will talk... <laughs> I will talk to you later, all right? <laughs> ciao. <laughs> did, did he just mm. say ciao? He just said ciao. Hey Siri, can you define the word ciao for these um, Android users, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Ciao is an informal term. It means used as a greeting at meeting or parting. Why, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please note, that was all acting, okay? That's not me in real life, all right? Trust me, I'm still an Android person by heart. Mm. Mm. All right, don't even watch the wine glass, all right? I just really like wine. This is not me being bougie because I have an iPhone, all right? Don't judge me. I wanted to actually experience firsthand how an iPhone looks because iPhone users would always, the first thing they say is, oh my God, our camera quality is like so much better. Like, wait, no, let me do it properly. Oh my God, like our camera quality is so much better. <laughs> Yeah, please calm down. So right now I've actually switched from my Canon M50 to the iPhone. This is the front camera and you're not hearing this mic. You're hearing the iPhone's mic and the lighting hasn't changed. So this is the iPhone guys. All right, switching back to the camera. So let me show you the differences that I've noticed between iPhone and Android. All right, let's go. So with the iPhone, for some reason, everything seems so simple and professional, you know, like it's so organized. I don't know what, what about the iPhone it is, but for some reason, I'm using it and I feel all business-like. That personality that you see coming from iPhone users, I feel like the iOS and the aesthetics and the interface has something to do with it. Better than my shape up better, my car faster, my drip better, my clothes fit better, my hose better, my tattoos better, I'm stronger than you, my bitch thicker than yours, my gun's bigger than yours, nigga, my gun's bigger than yours, I talk better than you, I hustle better. I can get a dollar quicker than you. I talk better, I walk better. My because it just seems so bougie. Oh, the interface just feels classy. Versus the Android, like Samsung's. It, it's so user friendly. Like everything you need is right there. And you can do everything. Android just gives you the feel of a free spirited space. Do what you want, download what you want, live your life. While for iPhones, if you really need it, pay for it. Next thing I notice is there's no back button or that application button or the home button. Now, on an Android, you would normally have like the application button here and then the home button here and then the back button here. For iPhones, there's only one button, one home button that does everything apparently. They now have just a complete glass and you don't have to swipe up. Everything I have to do is either I'm swiping down or I'm swiping left. I'm just, I'm just swiping. Everything is just swipe, swipe, swipe the maps oh my god apple maps is trash every time i'm using apple maps to get anywhere it's like i'm already at the turn and apparently my car is not there yet have you ever watched the chronicles of riddick let me show you Meanwhile, Google Maps, it's so perfect. Like everywhere I'm going, it's so precise and it's real time. I don't have to worry about anything at all. If you use Apple Maps, you will get lost. Next we have Siri. Oh my God, I love her. I know Android has Google Assistant, but there's something about Siri that's just so smart. Like guys, look at this. Hey Siri. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Like, mm -hmm, like, the, mm -hmm, just sounds so sexy. Like, <laughs> girl, stop. <laughs> Anyways, meanwhile, Google Assistant is, I mean, it's its as friendly as Siri, but I don't know. It's, Siri just sounds so realistic. I, I don't, I don't know, but it's, trust me, it's not that big of a deal. But if you have an iPhone, make use of Siri. She's waiting on you. Trust me. File sharing. Okay, so if you're an Android user, you do know for a fact that we Android users, we always use Bluetooth to send files to anybody. However, with iPhone, they have a thing called AirDrop. I haven't used it yet, but I hear it's really good to send pictures and videos and all kind of files from one iPhone to the next, or even from one iPhone to a MacBook. Using my Samsung phone, I've discovered this app called Samsung Pass and even the secure folder. If you're a Samsung user, you know how important those two apps are because the Samsung Pass saves 
all my passwords and all I need is just my fingerprint to access any app that requires a password. I don't need to use my brain cells to remember passwords. Who does that? Then you have the secure folder app. If you have any private files, photos, videos, apps, anything at all that you need to not have any and anybody actually see or have easy access to, you can simply just throw that in a secure folder and you need proper identification like, like fingerprint scan or facial recognition, something to access that app. You can actually back it up on your Samsung account and actually have access to it on another phone once you put your email in. Like, I mean, imagine having your nudes everywhere you go. <laughs> mm. Moving along. <laughs> now to the one thing that iPhone users brag about 24 seven. This is the only thing that they use iPhone for. Some of them don't even use the apps on iPhone. They use this one app. Of course, this is the FaceTime feature. Oh my God. The moment they hear you have an iPhone. Oh my God, let's FaceTime. Like, <laughs> what reason do I have to actually put my phone to my ear and listen to what you have to say. When I could actually call you on FaceTime and I can see you in 1080p or 4K, of course, or even 8K, <laughs> right. Literally, most iPhone users live on FaceTime for some reason. But the thing is, FaceTime is actually a really smart idea because if you actually don't have cell service or signal, you can use Wi-Fi and actually make FaceTime voice calls or FaceTime video calls. And then iMessage, oh my God. iMessage, you can literally text without cell service. Once somebody else has an iPhone, you can speak to them without cell service. That's crazy. So that is the video, guys. I have an iPhone now, that's great. I still have my Android, so I haven't switched it. Don't worry. So you don't know, guys, like, share, and subscribe but subscribe using an iphone because um it's more fulfilling you know it's it's less um what do you say um broke <laughs> hmm. nah i'm just kidding but for real though if you have my number facetime me it's actually fun trust me I, i'm actually enjoying this facetime thing now apparently hit your boy wes and we're done see you in the next video boom <laughs>